Hello everyone. Welcome to Piccadilly Stamping. I'm Pamela Pick. And I'm Bill Pick. <laughs> Come on in. Let's wait and see if some people... It takes just a minute for uh, folks to get in here. So let's see if we can get some folks in. Okay. Hi Madison. Hi Kirsten. Okay. Hello Jean. Hi, Marcia. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Karen. Hi, Madison. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Jean. Woohoo! Yay! Okay, now, do you know how to do that there? Uh -huh. You're shirking on your responsibilities, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. Right, no? No, you gotta go to where is. You... Hold on, you just sent me that. Click on that link. This no, one? yep, click on that link. I give him one responsibility. <laughs> Did you click on it? Okay. I thought if I help. You can help. Okay. You 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 talk was, to everyone. Well, I was trying to invite people in. <laughs> people I hadn't seen on. Uh so now let's just wait here. And then you make sure that the oh, there we go. Okay. So, and at the control panel, not knowing how old to do the job. Yeah. Yay! I mean if you're gonna take the helm, really. Really, I need to learn how to fly the starship, are you saying? I think so. The Enterprise? Yeah. I'm in the Enterprise command. <laughs> yes. Uh Barb's on. Hi Barb. You say hello. You just talk to everyone. I'm just inviting people. Woohoo! Yes. Are you on there? Can I'm you? on here. Why am I not on there? I don't know. Okay. I feel like I'm... Okay. I'm just going to stop there for now. Okay. So, a little bit different setup here. There's Beth Ann. Beth Ann from Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> Did Joy make it on? I haven't seen her yet. Joy! All you have to do... Oh, I was looking on mine. Oh, oh, I just got out. Back in. Well. Back in. Here I am. See? No, you just do like that. So you can just type in. Oh, okay. Now I'm going to try it. You guys, I'm so sorry. So the new setup is a little bit different. And I'm trying my hardest. I wonder if Laura's in. And I, I don't. seen her yet. Okay. Well, let's go. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. All right. I'm trying to get this set up so that I can kind of see you guys. But all right, everyone. There's a lot of announcements to go about. So let's get going. First announcement is that today is the last day to sign up for um, Paper Pumpkin. So if you want to get in on this, uh, July's kit coordinates with three of our product suites. I can't wait to bring that to you. So, but today is the last day to get this one and then it'll go into next month. And I don't know what next month's is um, right at the moment. Nope, they keep us informed keep it just, secret, yeah, right? until the next one. Okay, bonus uh, days. If you sign up, you get, you get, you get pay. If you pay a team member. Yeah, um, they have done that. Bill made a good point. If you sign up to be on my team, um, they also usually include a paper pumpkin in your sign-up kit. Now, I don't know if that's every time, but, you know, hey. Yes, hi, Laura. I see Laura. I see Sherry. Yay. Okay, hi, everyone. Okay, so bonus days is here. So what bonus days is is that every $50 you spend um, July 1st through the 31st before shipping and tax you get $5 bonus days coupons that you can use in August the 1st through the 31st and here's the best part there is no limit to how many coupons you can earn so you can shop all month long if you want to which brings me to my next topic is the stamp and storage is in yay um, I like to watch my mother's excitement when she got hers <laughs> this week. Um, she was pretty excited about it. And I will say it is a phenomenal little setup. I've had different things over the years, but this is probably one of my favorites. So 
what, however you choose to use it. You don't have to have the whole big shebang like I do. However you choose to use it is just fine. It's customizable because they come in like sections of five. So that's really awesome. But the other thing that I want you guys to know, and I don't know if this is working, is um, maybe it's not, is um, that for every 50 you spend, you get $5 bonus coupon. Okay, I'm putting this away because apparently I am not techy enough to do this and it's very distracting. So, <clears throat> another thing to keep in mind, it's a good month to purchase things because you get that extra um, $5 for the following month. I know what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be kind of loading up on a few uh, basic supplies that I need that I'm low on, different papers and stuff, because then I can turn around and use it next month for some of the other stuff. Okay, um, extra, extra. Here's the other thing this month. They have a lot of pr promos going on this month, and it's good and it's bad because it makes my uh, Facebook Live a little longer, but it's awesome deal for you. So you get, when you sign up to be a demonstrator, not only do you get the discount, on the kit, they get normal kit is $125 for $99, but they're going to give you an extra bonus this month, so that's like $155 for the $99, and then you get a coupon code for $10 for the following month. So if you turn around, you sign up today, and you get your kit. Now that doesn't count towards your um, your uh, sales, but you can turn around this month. Oops order extra stuff, make your order, and have that $10 coupon plus the $5 that you earn with this. So it can really be kind of a nice time to join. I have an amazing team, my Piccadilly Pearls, and you're gonna about to see why um, in just a minute. This is a fun, creative group, and I'm really enjoying my team as it's growing. So on top of all of that this month, I also offer my own perks program and what it is it's a reward program rewards program where you can earn free products from me just for being Piccadilly Stampin's loyal customer so how does that work you earn one letter out of the word Piccadilly for every $35 purchase that you make until you form the word Piccadilly now this is going to be via email confirmation with me when you get all the letters collected, then you earn a free shopping through me at my online stores. So, totally free. I am not only going to pay the um, $25 of free product that you want, I'm going to pay the tax and the shipping on that to get that to you. Now, obviously, this is just United States only. The only um, exception on this is I do not honor like celebration products or host rewards because those are earned in a whole different way. So I want to keep this kind of clean from that. But it is about a $35 value, so it's buy 10, get one free. I'm doing this as a trial offer until um, January 31st, 2020, just to see how it goes. If it goes really well, I'll probably keep up with it. I have had really good response so far, and I'm excited to know... Um, if you guys have uh, been involved with it yet and if, you, if you're if you liking it. I've had one person cash in on it, so awesome. Okay, this announcement is more with what we're gonna do here tonight because I'm gonna be using the Stamparatus. So I'm gonna just put this announcement on hold and I'm gonna go into um, some cards that I received. So you guys are absolutely phenomenal. I got, uh, before the flood last week, I mean, everything kind of got things uh, crazy during the flood, and so I didn't get all the cards showed to you that I had. But look at this card. Now this is the feathers from the bird banter paper, but then they used, um, it looks like some sort of a peacock feather on there. I don't, this is not a Stampin' Up! one, but it is still so beautiful. I love it. And of course, she gave me a little letter. So this is from my friend France. And I just think that is absolutely beautiful and I wanted to show you because I thought that is such a cute way to use that feather also. And we're also gonna be using the Peacock set tonight. Really? Yes, really. Cool. <laughs> and then um, this one is from my friend Joy. 
And look at all the detail that she put into that. She's got vellum. She's got pearls. She's got, um, this was just a thank you from her, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. She's got flowers. She's got lace. She's got all sorts of detail in here. It's beautiful. Thank you so much, Joy. Yeah, thank you, Joy. <laughs> That one was to him, too, so That's of course right. he has to say thank you. Okay, so then, um, Joy, also, I I earned my Silver Elite, and she sent me a congratulations on that, and, like, she went out of the town stamping on it. And this was um, from some paper we had last year. It's one of my favorites, actually, so isn't that beautiful? Thank you, Joy. And then from the beautiful Beth Ann. <laughs> from Philly. <Woo. laughs> she sent me one too. And look at how spe spectacular this is. I love it. She's got the vellum. She's got, I mean, she's got embossing. She's got the ribbon. She's got, this is one of my favorite papers this year. I absolutely love it. Plus then look at, she used the really pretty foil um, paper. You know, and I think that is absolutely gorgeous. So thank you so much, Beth Ann. I will cherish this forever. I actually, since I'm getting this new room, kind of working on some stuff with my mother and doing a little decorating in here, I plan on putting these cards up. So then this is, this just is phenomenal. This is from one of my pearls. I love how she used the big pearls. And like there's pearls throughout she even got me a pearl necklace so my piccadilly pearls but isn't that awesome she just took that and i would have never thought of that and i think that is so cute i'm totally stealing this idea now she just took the um the glimmer paper and punched it out with the. Um, i think this is the pop of petals punch posy yeah so how cute is that? It says congratulations. And I love the fun fold on that. Isn't that great? I thought that was really pretty. And then this one. This is also from my friend France. Um, France, you're right. When you say words can't express. Um, with the flood and everything, she sent me this beautiful card. But she also sent me a good year supply a fast fuse because she knows how much I love it and look at this she even embellished the the envelope isn't that beautiful and this I think is from the new um, bird joy will know is joy on did joy make it yet yeah joy's on okay joy will know what it is bird ballard something or other something anyway so I wanted to show you those really pretty cards that I got and how much that meant to me and I wanted to publicly thank my friend France um, we've never actually met in person we have a love of stamping up we met actually on a whole different website because we like flowers and it was just love at first sight <laughs> the two of us friended each other right away and we've been just kind of going strong but that was absolutely wonderful i appreciate it so much thank you um we did lose quite a bit in the flood but thank you so much however my fast fuse was up but i was running low so <laughs> that works okay so then this last one is about the Stamparatus. We're gonna use this tonight, and I just wanted to point out the wonderful case that you can get to go with it, because this is kind of a complete set. I'm pretty impressed with Stampin' Up. Um, so you have the Stamparatus, you've got the two plates that come with it, and you can get additional things like um, some paper packs and stuff, but here's my newest find, and since I'm gonna be using this, I'm just gonna pull this out because we'll need both plates tonight. We're going to do some embossing, all kinds of stuff, Bill. Have you seen any questions or anything? Not yet. Well, push done, oh. and then you'll, then you'll be able to push huh. it. There you go. So now you can see. Okay, so this is the newest thing with um, that they have come out with, that Stampin' Up! came out with for the Stamparatus, and I am just gonna have to like brag because I love it. So, normally it just comes like this, and then it does have a foam pad that comes in it in case you're using the photopolymer, not the photopolymer, not the rubber stamp. 
but this now has a, um, what do you call this? Um, the grid? Well, it's the grid paper on, on the cushion, but it's laminated. They have a laminated one that goes in there, and look at this. The magnets work perfectly, and we're actually going to use this, and I'm going to start a little different than what I normally do. I'm going to start with the, the more detailed project first because, well, because I am. Am I pretty good in camera? You are. Okay, so let me get out the project pack tonight for that. Uh-oh, I got card happy now. I don't see. There it is. So... Uh, the baskets are not come back out yet, have they? No, but it's okay. We'll get to it. I mean, our life, it's, it's a slow process here. That's right. So tonight I want to use um, the Royal Peacock set. And it is a set, and it has all these wonderful, see here's the peacock feather. It has the beautiful peacock that you can cut out. I've seen a lot of pretty stuff with this. Some um, greenery or foliage that can go with it. The beautiful peacock set, which is, um, this is a two two stamp set and some pretty um, embellishments. And we're going to use almost all of it, just not all the sayings tonight. But isn't it cute? That, that is a really neat. adorable peacock. So I'm going to start with a, a blueberry bushel base. And I've cut this at the four and a quarter from a 11 sheet of piece of paper. And then I'm going to fold it at the five and a half. And... I always say score, but I don't really score it. I just kind of fold it. So I'm going to start there. And then to get a nice crisp edge on there, I'm going to go ahead and use the bow folder to get that edge down perfectly. Nice. Okay. And then I want to show a couple other things that I'm going to be using. So we have the Noble Peacock Designer Series Paper. This is absolutely beautiful paper. So they have kind of this granny apple green with some foil to it. Um, this is the uh, blueberry bushel and it's got a nice foil pattern. And then they do have kind of a Bermuda Bay, but I think it was supposed to be like um, pretty peacock, but it looks Bermuda Bay to me. Of course, everything looks for me to be to me. If I could paint the world, give me to bay. So I thought this paper was really pretty. I do want to show you, it is a heavier paper. So it'd be good if you're like a box maker. But normally our DSP is two-sided. This isn't. It's just the one side. So it's it's almost, it's very thick like a, like a thin cardboard. So it'd be great for making beautiful boxes. And so I have a piece of that, and this is cut at four by five and a quarter because I'm gonna mount, mount this on here for the base. So let's do that, but if I don't take something out of the middle, my friend Joy gets mad at me, and I don't like it when she's mad at me. So I'm gonna just take a starburst punch out of the middle so that I can use this for another project, Joy. I'm gonna have to find something just to send it to you. <laughs> so I don't want to it is a good tip I mean nobody's going to tear your card apart to look at it and say hmm so I might as well just glue that down now it's just a, it's a saver I could have done like a die like a and I probably would have normally but um, just for the sake of time with demonstrating I'm going to use some of my green glue and it looks like I am running low on green glue oh no can't be yeah don't worry, I have extras. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down on the card base. And you guys, if you hear Bill and then he's gone, he is on call, so if you hear someone getting up and going out, he doesn't understand. He's got like voice modulation when he gets on the phone because he goes up an octave or something. Do all men do that or just Bill? Anyway, okay. So I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to put this back into my a Noble Peacock paper so that it won't get lost so that I can make Joy a card. And then I have this piece of Whisper White cut at, um, it is four and three quarters 
by three and a half. And to use the Stamparatus, my favorite way, I think people, to get this hinged on here, it's raised and so if you use it with a rubber stamp it's not so bad but with the photopolymer stamps it doesn't quite go all the way down so what I like to do and it's really easy to just line this paper up right here on the edge and I'm going to use a couple of the um, magnets to hold it down and I'm going to take the peacock image out of here and I'm going to lay it onto my stamparatus or the way that I want it to be on. And I kind of want him straight up and down or her. Maybe I should say her or wait, isn't it the male birds that are the really pretty feathered ones? I know that's how it is with cardinals. So, and I'm going to lift that up now photopolymer tend to just be a little bit stickier so you might want to readjust your paper and then it should be ready to roll yep okay so I'm going to pull out the blueberry bushel that I used as my background here and I'm going to ink him up and why am I doing this now you can do this with um, if you have an e-block, if you don't have a Stamparatus yet, you can get an e-block and you can use this. It does fit. I've tried it. Um, but the reason I wanted to do this is because um, I was using that and then I didn't get it all um, coated evenly, stamped evenly. So I wanted to have the ability to come back and since it is a larger image yeah see it's just not quite coated enough for me here in the in all the detailed feathers so we're going to ink it up again because I want a really crisp what I'm gonna do okay are there any questions or anything no they just want to know that, that since my drivers didn't know it was you know, day. yeah well they're just making sure I'm behaving well <laughs> drivers don't know it's stamp day I doubt that they care it's stamp day <laughs> I don't know yeah uh, some of them like the cards we give oh yeah well that's good I'm glad to hear that Okay, so I'm going to clean this off. This is another reason why I love the, um, the chamois. But I could just remove it, which I think I'll do. I'm going to remove it because I have another one that I can stick right on here. And I could That's do it. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Or I could have just flipped it and done the other side, too. Okay. Right. Yeah. But I'm going to move this from off of here. Is that an E-block? I guess that was the E block. Listen <laughs> to you. <laughs> you crack me up. I'm learning. I'm going to send you to Philadelphia to be with Beth Ann. No, that's okay. I've been there once or twice. Once or times. twice. Okay, now you can line this right up perfectly with these little, um, the inner circle of the. feather <laughs> totally totally lost it there but I'm going to move mine down just slightly because I'm going to do some coloring in there I so I want I want um what we're going to do now is emboss and I want just a little bit different I want it to, to be just a little off there we go okay so I hooked it back up again. Now because I have ink on it, I want to go ahead and I want to use my emboss buddy to make sure that I'm not getting any embossing powder 
on the already inked image. Yeah, did you know that? No, I didn't. I always store this upside down so that the ink stays at the bo bottom, just so you know where the glue, and then I store the emboss buddy on top. I don't know if that's a tip for anybody, but I think it's pretty cool. And then I'm just going to do the Versamark ink is what I'm using. And I want to make sure it's inked up pretty good. And push it down. Okay. Before I take that off, I want to make sure I've got that. I can't tell. Why can't I tell? Maybe I didn't have it inked up enough. It's better to go a little over it again while I've got it in place. This one has such fine dots on it, but this is going to be so pretty when I'm done. And I debated what color to do, and I, I ended up deciding to do some gold emboss. Ooh. Yeah, that one. Cool. Well, thank you. Okay, so now I am done with my Stamparatus for right now. So I'm gonna just put this aside with my beautiful assistant there. I hope I did that. I couldn't, I can't. I hope you did what? I waved my hand like the assistant. <laughs> did you? <Yes. laughs> so I like to keep my emboss powders in separate um, little toss away Oh yeah, I did. Okay, let me put some extra right here. We want this bird to sparkle. Very nice. Okay, you guys. Now, you might want to cover your ears for a minute while I heat up the emboss gun. So far, no questions, so... Okay, well, I'm starting to learn that they're just enjoying the tutorial, right? That's right. <laughs> they love your tips, huh? Oh, good. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of doing this up closer so that maybe you can see. I'm starting on the back, and you can see how the embossing powder... I hope that shows. You have to... It's starting to come through. Good. Gold, baby. Yeah. I think this is rich for the peacock. Beverly's on. Oh, Beverly's on. Hi, Beverly. Okay. Oh, wow. So let's see if that shows up in the camera. Yeah, it does. Does it? Okay. Oh, yeah. I feel like I need more light in here still. There we go. There you can see it. Okay. So there we go. So now I've got the peacock and I've just embossed on him. So let's take some colors. So I'm going to use, I'm going to add, I'll do the light daffodil delight. And I want to do the light rich razzleberry. And I want to do the light Bermuda Bay. And... Um, I think I'll do the, I think the, the light, so I'm using all lights, so I'm not really blending, I'm just going to be coloring. I'm going to use the light granny apple green because I've got this color in the background and I think that's going to go well. So let's get started. I'm going to start off and I'm going to color these top feathers here in the granny apple because I think that's pretty. I think that will help tie it in. And then I'm going to do the little chest area in the Rich Razzleberry Light. And then let's do some Bermuda Bay here. Now you have to be careful because 
Um, I am using the blends. I don't want it to bleed, so you gotta kind of work quickly. So I'm gonna just kind of go here and color him in. Don't wanna concentrate. I'm doing kind of a feathery motion on the edges because I don't want that to like bleed out. So we're gonna go real quick here. We'll come down just a little bit. And then let's go back with the Granny Apple Green. And let's kind of blend right over where we were so those two colors blend in. And let's blend this down. Quick strokes so that it's not sitting on the paper and just bleeding through. And then I'm gonna go through and all of these feathers here on the outside, I'm gonna quickly just add some lines. I'm not really coloring in, it's not super solid it's just some lines down here kind of around all of those little I'm gonna call them eyeballs I don't know what to call them the feather eyeballs and these are the lashes well that's the, that's the style these days you gotta that's have right. your feathery lashes there you go see so I'm just kind of filling it in. I'm not being super precise. I'm just kind of feathery lines. Can you see how it's filling in? Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. So this is one of those projects when you want to kind of sit down and take a minute. That's why I wanted to start here. It's actually, I find when I do these ones, it's like people pay for those adult coloring books and here I've got unlimited access to my own adult coloring. So now I'll probably come in and refine this a little bit, but I think what I want to do now is take the Daffodil Delight, just the light Daffodil Delight, and I'm gonna go in the center of those eyes that I said I went just a little bit down on the gold I did that because I just wanted to have a little extra drop of color. There's the gold drop underneath of it, but I wanted like, I like bright. And I have someone who is, that I'm giving this card to, who is bright and wonderful. And so I wanted to make sure that I added color because She's colorful. So now I'm gonna go in and around that circle, and I will bring this up so you guys can see. I'm just gonna go in with the rich Razzleberry and do the detail to just really make this pop. Some of them uh, just have like a, a little line at the top. Some of them you can go completely around just depends on if they have the feather kind of layered or not. What are you thinking, Bill? Just watching. You're coloring really nice. Okay. Now after you get all that, that's when I come back in and I kind of look at the little spots that maybe need to be filled in that would look a little fuller feather-wise. I don't want too much white showing. I mean, it's okay to have some, but... Well, it is on white paper. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to stand up here real quick and... It gives it a 3D effect white paper can, can you guys see that? Can you see the little... I can't tell because the if the light's hitting it right, will you let me know? It looks good. Okay. I like it. So, butamus, right? Butamus, yeah. <laughs> okay. 
So now let's bring this base back in. Now you see how that color and then the granny apple really kind of, and I see you can kind of tell how I feel, I feel like that pulled it together. So I'm gonna see if I have a different, here we go. Ooh, this one's just coming out like crazy. Let's not get that all over the place. Uh, the glue was kind of coming out. Uh -oh. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down to our card. We're not done yet, but I think that it's a very regal looking card. When you're doing on slick paper, it takes just a little bit longer to kind of adhere. So take your time. I have to set it up so I can see if I've got it even. Okay. Now, I feel like this color combo that I chose really sets off with this paper. So, we'll move this out of the way now. So, we all have these little half inch strips. We cut off our paper and then we have these little strips. I know we all do. Anybody who crafts um, card makers, you guys have these little strips. Well. I am exceptional at saving these strips, and I save them because of things like this sentiment right here that will fit perfectly. It says, you are incredible. And I've always been a black sentiment stamper, but lately if the color matches and coordinates well, I have been a um, color coordinated stamper. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink this up and then I'm gonna stamp it down. I'm gonna move this a little closer because it's kind of hard to see white on white. I hope that was straight. It was, but then I rocked. So let's try it again. Okay. Well, third time's a charm. Hey, Jerry Lynn. Hey, Monkey. Hey, Monk. Hi, Jerry Lynn. Okay, so I have now successfully, after the fourth time, and I want to determine where I want this, and I think, I think I'm going to want it there. So I'm going to just bring in my little paper trimmer, and I'm going to cut this off and it looks like a half inch by I'm cutting it off at um, two and a quarter but I'm gonna do a little edge cut here from that corner and I want it just a little more angled right there okay this is another one of my new things I mean, I like to do flags, but sometimes you just want to do something different, so I did kind of an angle cut. Yeah. And I'm going to get... I go through phases, Bill. I know. It's just how it is. It is. So I'm going to use a couple of mini dimensionals to pop this up on. My bowl's in the other spot there. Oh, that's okay. Okay. And I think I want the white to match the white. I could go off a little, but I think for this one, it's kind of a, normally I like that offset, but I think I might go into the upper part here of his tail feathers, but match it up onto the white because I think it just needs to be a little more um, regal. Okay. So here we have, and you can see the embossing I did on there and the coloring. It's really actually a simple card. It just takes a little bit of time because you're actually doing that coloring. So I think that's pretty cool. So that's the first one. You like it? 
Okay, then I decided I want to send this person a little bit of a thank you because they're awesome. And so I took some more of this paper. This is cut at, and I want you to know these measurements that I'm giving you, I want you to work with whatever you have. This just fits, I'm gonna make a little tea bag holder. So this is two and three quarters by, well, I guess I could have measured it there, by six and three quarters. So I'm gonna get out my score tool. I love this scoreboard. And I'm gonna set it up on the opposite side and get the stylus that comes with it. And I'm gonna score this at one and a quarter to start. So when you're making your own, you might whether, cause you can use this to do hot cocoa or whatever. Um, I've sent some to my nephew with Pop Rocks and I just adjusted the size. So one and a quarter, and then I just did a quarter inch so that you have that thickness of the, um, the tea bag that I'm gonna add in this. And then four and a half. Let's see if I, well, shoot. There we go. Okay. So then I'm gonna go ahead and fold these over and give them a good crease. So I had some herbal tea, some green tea, and it's probably the hippie in me. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> you like that? Hippie. I'm a, li I'm a little bit of me. The flower child. Of new age, yeah. Anyway, so this is just some um, herbal tea organics and I'm just going to stick a little glue dot on the back and then put this kind of down into my tea holder like so. This just holds it in and it's very easy for them to get out. Okay, so we've got this, right? Now let's do a little decoration. So on top of the um, Noble Peacock paper, we also sell this beautiful Noble Peacock foil. Yes, that looks Bermuda Bay to me. So I knew I needed it right away, but it also comes in the blueberry bushel, which is very pretty, and this lovely, um, I would say this is like the granny apple green. I don't know, it doesn't have a color on there. But I'm gonna go ahead and use this. As you can see, I've already used it once. And I want a, I'm gonna get out a couple of punches. I've got the one and one eighth scalloped and the one and three eighth scallop punch. So I'm gonna use a one and three eighth scallop punch. because we're gonna make closure on this. And then I'm gonna get out a piece of scrap white. Don't need very much. And I have, I didn't want it to say anything that was in this. I wanted it to say, um, hey friend. So I'm gonna use the itty bitty greetings for it to say, hey friend. And then I am gonna use the flowers that came with this. Um, also because I felt like it matched this um, DSP. So we're just gonna start with the hay friend and I'm gonna bring back that blueberry bushel. Don't worry about stamping this straight as just as long as you don't rock it because we're gonna do some, see that wasn't even straight on the paper, but that's okay because when you're using, this is why I like round punches so much when you're using a round punch, you can get it. Yeah, <laughs> there's That's no. How you want it. Exactly, you got that quick, didn't you? You bet. <laughs> I like that. Okay, so let me get that in there. I want to bring. Well, I, why did I put the blueberry bushel back? 
I'm going to use it again and I'm going to do it with those flowers. So I'm just going to put a set of flowers on top and a set of flowers. It's so hard to see without getting my head in the shot. I don't have my hair freshly colored, you know. I wouldn't want you to see the gray roots. Okay, so it kind of looks like a hot mess, but we're going to use that one and one eighth. We're going to cut off some of this, but I'm going to center it the way I like it. And I kind of like that. So I'm going to bring in a glue dot. Um, I normally would use green glue, but because of being on the camera and this slick paper, it takes a minute to tack down. So commit to placement. There you go. Let's bring the base back in. So I'm going to put a couple of them down here at the bottom. I don't want to, I don't want, I'm going to make this the closure. So I don't want this to be stuck on the top flap so that it can be opened. Okay, so there we go. So here's how it opens and then to put it together you just push that flap down. So what do you guys think? It looks really cool. What I like is, let me grab this, it, it matches, you know, the card that I'm sending. So, and it, you know, it's going to be a little extra postage joy, but it's going to be worth it when they get just a little treat to say thank you. And there's been so many of you who have done so many nice things for us recently <laughs> since the flood and, and it's just a little token of thanks. So that kind of got me. <laughs> it did. Did I say something? <laughs> no, I really appreciate their help. Okay, yes. Anyway, really so um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today. Um, I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, so if any of these products you can't live without, I do have a link, so you can just go to my Facebook page at Piccadilly Stamping. There's a Shop Now button, and if you're watching this later in a YouTube video, I will post a link down below in the description. This is the current host code that I'm using this month. This is only if you're placing an order um, 150 or less. I'm sorry, 149.50 or less. <laughs> if it's 150 or more, then you require, then you qualify for host rewards, and I want you to have them. So, all right, you get plus if you do 150 or more, you're gonna get three coupon codes. Ooh. Uh, yeah. So remember, mm -hmm. and then you'll also get um, Piccadilly perks. So good month. All right, you guys, I appreciate you tuning in and seeing what I've got in store for you um, each week. And we'll be back here next week uh, live on Facebook, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. So have a good evening. Bye-bye.